I would explain The Longest Ride as being a love story, and it um, centers around my character Sophia, your character Luke, and um, this, these other couples, Ira and Ruth, and uh, and it's sort of our love story is intertwining, and um, and it's how our love story is is influenced by Ira, and and, um, and how he sort of instructs us and encourages us to, to sacrifice and, and make our love work if it's something that we want. I play Sophia. And Sophia is a young college student. She is working her way to New York City, where she hopes to work in an art gallery at some point in her life. And um, she's just really passionate, and she loves, you know, she she loves what she's studying, um, and she's very into academics, and and hopes that that will get her where she wants to be. Sophia, she's uh, she's great. She's uh, <laughs> she's great. She's great. <laughs> She's the best. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Sophia is, <clears throat> she's driven, passionate, That's spontaneous. All you got? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, she's a, she, I think he's attracted to her uh, for some of the same reasons that he is, but a lot, a lot of the, a lot of reasons that are, you know, counterintuitive to what he is used to. So, you know, opposites attract. Luke is a fourth generation cattle rancher. North Carolina. He's a honest, hardworking, loyal guy, um, and he's driven. You know, he's uh, he's coming back from from an injury in the PBR, and he's trying to make his way back to the top. And so he's driven, and that's that's what he's trying to do until he, you know, his things shift a little when he falls in love with Sophia. Mm -hmm. He's a real simpleton. You know, he's complicated, but he's 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 a good man. He takes care of his mom. He's a family man with good values and morals and has had a, a really, you know, simple upbringing, which is different than than what my character is used to. Um, so when they meet, it's there's an instant attraction, but not necessarily an understanding of who who that person is. So um you know, uh, Sophia is, is constantly trying to figure out who he is and if he's the kind of person she wants to keep in her life while juggling her career. Uh, initially, when she meets Luke, the attraction comes from, uh, I think, purely based on the physicality of, of how he approaches her. You know, he's on this bull and he's just made the eight or whatever it's called. I always have a hard time with the terminology. Um, and, <laughs> and then he he comes over to her in this um, kind of aggressive manner after being chased by this bull and it's all a little bit overwhelming for my character. And then he so kindly like, you know, gives her his cowboy hat and that alone is so out of her comfort zone but but she's embracing it. And so I think the attraction is, is physical, but emotional and mental eventually. We are learning from this, this past love story about, um, about what it takes to make relationships work, make love work. Mm. I think some of the similarities that I, I found interesting um, for, for my character, Sophia, you know, I have such a love and passion for art. And when I meet Ira, he tells me, um, of Ruth and, and her love for art and, and how she was always so passionate about, you know, in, encouraging him to embrace art and it being a part of their relationship. And uh, I thought I thought that's a really interesting parallel because it's, you know, what are the chances? Each person at one point in the movie has a moment of sacrifice where they say, hey, you know, this is worth it. I'm, I'm all in and I'm going to split the deck. And uh, I think you see that in four different points in the film. and. I think that's... Yeah, many times sacrifice plays a part in the film, um, mainly as a, as a way to to help the other one understand that person. You know, my character Sophia ends up giving up an internship, something she'd worked so hard for, but she does it for, for the health and the support of, of Luke, who she's now fallen in love with. And, um, and she hopes that that's going to, you know, make their relationship even stronger. And, um, and the same thing happens for you and then also with Ira and Ruth in their relationship. I mean, I think that, uh, I think it's important to, to do stuff like that. I mean, not necessarily have to go out and, and ride a bull to be happier. Like, it's important to <laughs> ride bulls. whatever your fear may be, <laughs> you, you know, you're scared of the ocean or you're scared of flying or, you, you know, I, you know well, whatever it is, you're scared of being in a relationship, you know. Um, I think that makes you grow as a, as a human. 
as soon as I, I got the role, I called this. Um, I called the, one of my one of my father's friends, actually friend of a friend, who's an old stunt guy, and he has a cattle ranch up in uh, Moore Park. And I said, hey, uh, can we go buck some bulls? I know your nephew's a bull rider and whatever. And, uh, so I drove up there one day and I brought a 24-pack of beer for these guys. They brought some bulls down from Sacramento and uh, drank some beer and they bucked some bulls. <laughs> I hope audiences uh, are touched by this film because it really is a heartfelt, touching film. Um, that is also fun and has got a great cool new world on bull riding that I don't think we've seen a lot in film. And uh, also it, it, it you know, takes place in the 40s and you know, that's, a, that's a great time era and uh, I, I, just, I, I, I just I think it's a great film so I, I, I hope people enjoy it. I just hope audiences want to love after the movie, you know, are just inspired to love you know, whether it be their partner or um, their or their dog or their mother or their brother or whoever it is, just wanting to feel loved and and um, and sacrifice for others to love.